Mobile Workshop, my name's Darren. Have you ever been looking at tape measures on Amazon and wondered what the fast cap tape measures are like? I certainly have, and recently the tape measure that I keep in my apron died, in that the little brake switch here doesn't really work anymore as you can see, it's coming back in. I could possibly open it up and fix it, but I thought it would be a prime opportunity to actually have a look at one of these fast cap tape measures. Now the one I got is metric and it's the True 32 variety. So let's take a look at that. I picked up the metric version and I got the True 32. I'll explain what that means shortly. But strangely, even though this is the metric version of the tape measure, it tells me it's 16 feet long. <laughs> and if I spin it over, as you can see, it's telling us that the length of the body is three inches. So again, that's imperial, not metric. Down the base of the tape measure, there's actually a little pencil sharpener for your old-fashioned wooden pencils. So if you still use them, that'll be something handy to have around. I keep a couple of wooden pencils around the workshop. You never know. They do come in handy from time to time. Now the front of the fast cap might look a little bit bland, but there's a reason for that. This area is actually a notepad. So let's say you've just taken a measurement. You can come in here and you can just write stuff in there to let you know what you've done. So for example, oh, that was 128 centimeters. And of course, it's easily cleaned with an eraser. I say easily, it's not as easy as paper. You can see it smudges to start with, but stick with it. You can rub all that off. There we go. And it's ready for your next note. There's also a belt clip on the back, which I'm glad to say can be easily removed. Not that there's anything wrong with a belt clip, but I won't be clipping it to a belt. I'll be keeping it in my apron. I am going to pop the screw back in there for safekeeping. It'll also stop debris from entering through the little hole where the screw was. So what's this True 32 thing? Well, quite simply, there's a dot every 32 millimetres to let you know where you are. So we've got 32 there, 64, 96 and so it goes all the way up the tape measure and the reason for that is to work in with a lot of European cabinet hardware things like the spacing of shelf pins door hinges and handles and so on are often worked on a 32 mil spacing and I believe the reason for the 32 mil spacing is because that is what the cogs in the machines measured at in a lot of European machinery <laughs> So things were all spaced 32 millimetres apart in the machines. It was easy to drill holes every 32 mil. Okay, so if we do a comparison with a few different tape measures here, you can see they've all got good contrast and they're all easy to read. Um, they're all in millimetres, which is a great thing. I prefer using millimetres to centimetres. That's just the scale I work in most of the time. These ones have the advantage of bigger numbers, but being as how there's numbers on only one side, you can see at the moment, their numbers are upside down. Whereas on this one, I've got numbers both sides, which is definitely an advantage. So as well as the usual brake for locking it in place, which works well, there's also a momentary brake underneath. You can see here this little button, which allows us to do things like let the tape measure in a little bit of a time so it doesn't bang back into the roll. But also if you're just doing a quick measurement, you can pull it out, hold it, take your measurement, and just let it back in again, like that. So in conclusion with the fast cap tape measure, its build quality is on par with what you'd buy down at the hardware store. In some cases, slightly better. I do like this rubberized surround. Now it's not the only one with a rubberized surround. Obviously there are plenty of others, but always a good thing to have. Having the little notepad on there is a nice little touch, as is the pencil sharpener on the bottom, quite handy to have. The brake switch is big and sturdy and seems to work well and it feels like it's going to last. So, so far I'm quite happy with it. It looks a little bit bland at the front because of the little white board or little notepad on it, but quite handy thing to have. You know, sometimes you don't have a piece of paper handy to write on. And because there's a pencil sharpener in the thing, there's no excuse for not having a pencil to write on it with. It's, it operates smoothly. It's nice and easy to read, and it does have the 32mm markings, which from time to time can be handy. 
so far quite pleased with it. I'll be interested to see if it stands up to the test of time, which I think it will. All right, hopefully that's a bit of some help. Have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.